Hey, my name is Phil from FunnelScene.com and in the System.io tutorial, I wanna show you how you can integrate WordPress with System.io. Now there is no native integration between these two platforms, so you do have to be a little bit creative. So what I'm gonna be doing you is showing two ways that you can use Systems backend with your WordPress website. Now I first came across this issue as soon as I signed up with the platform. I'd been with WordPress for a very long time, so a lot of my work was there but I also wanted to use the system.io marketing platform to collect things like leads lead people through things like funnels so it became a bit of an issue and I only recently thought about actually trying to figure out a way so this is what I'm going to be showing you today so the first method I'm going to show you is actually how you can use web forms created in system and embedded on your WordPress website so let's go ahead and get started with that so the first thing you want to do is come across to your system dashboard and you want to come to funnels and choose any funnel that you want to use. You can create a new one. You can just add this widget or um, this, this form on the back of any other funnel. So I'm just going to put it inside of this test funnel that I have. So what you want to do is come to the bottom, click add step and you want to just name it. So I'm going to call this just the funnel scene um, YouTube test, right? Just to keep it uh, easy reference for me. And then type what we want to do is come down and you'll see opt-in squeeze page and we have here inline form. So this is what we want to use. So go ahead and choose inline form, click on save. And now we have got our new step. Now what you want to do here is find a design that's the closest to what you're trying to create for your website. Once again, an inline form is actually something that appears perhaps on a page or inside of a blog post itself. So if you come through here, you basically just want something very basic, something that's just straight to the point where someone can come in and add in their name and email. So I'm thinking probably even something along the lines of this. It's very basic, but we'll go and customize it a little bit. So I'm gonna click select on this particular one here. And you can see we don't have the URL options. This is because it's an embedded form. So what we wanna do is come across and we'll go ahead and quickly edit this page. So click on the edit button and it's going to open the editor. So what I'm gonna do now is just quickly come through. I'm not gonna to spend too much time. The first thing I'm gonna change is this green background. It's pretty, um, I, it's a bit of an eyesore, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm just gonna choose one of my brand colors, okay? Um, come to background color, paste it in the hex and boom, there we have blue. So this is in the settings part. If you wanna change the width, you can also as well. I'm just gonna leave it by default. It's gonna be more optimized this way. And then what I'm gonna do is come back to page settings, click on the text, and I'm just going to write a little bit of information for why they would wanna put in their name and email. So join thousands of um, funnel fanatics as we build and optimize um, sales funnels, something like that, okay? And I'm just going to, uh, first of all, just style it a bit. So it's quite big. So I'm just gonna drag it down, make it look a little bit nicer. Somewhere around there, 34, I'm gonna center it. I'm also going to change the font. So click on Google Fonts here on the left, right, and select. Uh, I'm gonna have a look what Montserrat looks like. It's a bit big, maybe Poppins. That's not too bad. I might actually just uh, reduce the font size a little bit more and reduce the line height a little bit. So it doesn't look too bad. Something around there I think looks pretty good. Okay, and just a little bit more. And then at the bottom here, it's quite a big gap in my opinion between these two. And if I click on it once again, you'll notice we have a margin. So I'm just gonna remove that, bring it a little bit closer, maybe even give it five. Okay, and then just quickly edit this. So enter your name and email to get sent the invite. Um, link, something like that. Once again, center it. And uh, I might change the font real quick as well, maybe to Lato, and then drop it down a little bit, okay? So that looks pretty good. Now you'll notice we only have a name here, so let's go ahead and duplicate that. And then the top one, which has email, we're just gonna click on the top left and to input type, choose first name like that. And I'll just enter in here, enter your, I'll just put your first name, okay? And then down here, I'll change this to your email address. There's a lot of fillers in there. So keep it nice and easy, make all the style the same. 
Okay, now apart from that, the button looks pretty strange. So we're gonna create full width, okay? So that looks a lot nicer already. And then we're gonna give them a reason to do it. So get sent, uh, I might even do capitals, get sent the invite link. Okay, something like that. And you can see they've added a lot of padding, 100, so we'll remove that. Looks pretty good. Um, not gonna spend too much more time on this. Maybe just change the text, change the boldness to 700, and maybe even make it a bit smaller. Okay, something like that. And then finally, padding, we'll give it 10. Okay, 10. And that doesn't look too bad at all. Okay, so there's my form. If I really wanted to be pedantic, I could play around with the um, padding and things like that. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not gonna waste your time too much. So I'm happy with that. The only thing you need to make sure is inside of here, click on the button. It says uh, at the top left, action when button is clicked. So when someone submits the form, where do you want them to go afterwards? Do you want them to redirect to another page? Do you want them to maybe go to a funnel step? It's entirely up to you. Um, you can even put like a file download if you're giving away an ebook or something. But I'm just going to put maybe here next URL step. Um, sorry, not next URL step, open URL. And I'm just going to put in here a subscribe page that I have, right? So funnelscene.com for this subscribed. This is basically just a page that says, hey, thanks for subscribing. Don't forget to you know, subscribe on YouTube and all that sort of stuff. So I'll just put that there. So once they fill in their details, they'll get redirected to that page where I can offer them uh, more bits and pieces. Okay, so that's the first bit done. Hopefully you guys are still here. Let's click on save changes. Okay, and let's go ahead and exit out. Now, since we have completed this form, let's go ahead and click on script. And this is going to be the script that we're going to embed on another page. So copy script to clipboard, right? And now let's go and add it to a page. So I actually did a little review of system a couple of, I think it was last week maybe. Um, my VA actually wrote it, I just edited a few things. So what I wanna do is go ahead and scroll to the bottom and I wanna put this form down here, right? Um, obviously I'm using Elementor, that's why I have this thing here. Um, but if you wanted to use it for any theme, I'll also show you another way how to embed. What you want to do if you're using Elementor, come across and look in here for an HTML widget, right? Super easy. And just drag it in. Now, all you need to do is paste in that little code that you just copied, right? And um, I'll just copy this one more time. Copy, make sure you got the right one. And then click on update. Okay. And it's not going to show right off the bat, but when you look at the page, it'll be there. So let's just wait till that's updated. It's all good, let's click on it. Okay, and if we scroll right down to the bottom, it's quite a big article, you'll probably notice it's not there. Now, sometimes it will be, sometimes it won't. It will depend on your caching policy for WordPress. It's one of these things um, which, which is quite niggly about WordPress. If you want a really fast website, then sometimes you sacrifice cache. But if we go to an incognito window, which hasn't got any cache stored, so let's just go ahead and load it and I'll scroll to the bottom and in a few seconds, boom, there is our form where people can now go and fill it in, right? And then that is good to go. So it's, you have to enter a valid email. So that's perfect. And I should probably also mention if you don't use Elementor and you're trying to add in the form, what you can also do is once again, copy the script. Um, just come to the regular builder, whatever builder you're using, there should be a text module. Um, if you don't have an HTML module or a code embed module, then you can just use the standard text module here and just paste it in here. And then the same thing will happen once again. Um, once you preview the changes, the form will appear wherever you've embedded it, right? So just make sure you use that as well. Now let's talk about the second method for actually embedding or integrating WordPress and system, I guess you could say. And this is using iframes, right? We're gonna embed entire pages onto your website. So instead of being a, um, a system.io domain or subdomain or whatever it might be, what we're gonna be using is our WordPress domain, creating a brand new page in it and then embedding a full funnel step so it looks like that funnel step is a part of the website. So let me show you what I mean. I'm just gonna, for this example, use this particular page. There's nothing special about it, it's just a demo page I use. Um, so what we're gonna do 
is come across i'm going to have this link ready so i'm going to copy that this is a page i've just created as you can see funnelscene.com forward slash test funnel and i'm just going to paste this code in here real quick and what i've done is i've played around with a ton of different embed codes and you can actually get away with just this one here right so i'll just paste it here and explain it so what we're doing is creating an iframe with the source and the source is going to be this website so i'm just going to copy this and paste it here okay like so right so that looks good and then we've also got a style 100 percent width and then we've got this height 100 vh now for some reason if you use percentage it doesn't work um, i guess it's trying to keep the aspect ratio and the 100 vh is not going to be perfect for all devices However, it's pretty good. So let me show you what I mean. So I'm gonna go ahead, click on update, and then I'm gonna open this page in an incognito window, like so, right? And you can see here, forward slash test funnel. And then if you look at the page that's loading, it's actually this funnel step. So this does work well. There's two little niggly things with it. On the right here, you can see we've actually got double sliders, right? So depending on what size your um, desktop resolution is, you may have two different types of scrolling sliders here. It just scrolls up this tiny little bit on the right, and then you've got the full page on the left. First issue, not really that big a deal. If someone saw it, they wouldn't really notice it, but just know that that's there. And the second one is first it has to load your website, and then it has to load the system website as well. So it's gonna take double the amount of loading power to produce one page instead of just loading from one site. However, this still does work and it still is actually pretty quick to load. This loaded in probably two seconds, which is extremely passable in terms of Google's eyes. And it's also got a very nice and attractive domain name. So that's two ways you can do it. If you want this code, um, you can either pause the video now and type this out. If you wanna download the code, I'll also put it in a text file, put a little opt-in below this video and you can go ahead and download that. But that's basically how it works. It's actually really quick and simple to use. So you have once again, the form embedding, which you can put all over your website. There's all different sizes and shapes inside of a system that you can use or you can do the embed style where you can actually embed pages from system on your website, which uses your own WordPress website domain. Plus you get to integrate it. So it takes all of the emails collected and it puts them inside of your system dashboard. So that's it guys. Hopefully you weren't too confused about it. Uh, it's really simple once you've done it a few times. Make sure you go back through this video a few times if you need to, but that's it. That's how you integrate WordPress and system.io. Hopefully it's helped out. If it has, make sure you smash the thumbs up button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And if you are struggling with system.io, I have also got my system accelerator course, which I'll link in the description as well. It's got everything you need from step-by-step -step training to templates to full websites and courses and everything in between. So make sure you go ahead and check that out. But that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.